Hi everyone, my name is Caden. I'm Jaden. I'm Eli. I'm Nicole. And I'm Jason. And we are the Yahoo and Torah YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate this. You can set up a mm -hmm. virtual table with us. We extend the leaf here. You can sit right down and we will give you a big old grizzly bear hug and give you some tea. We'd offer you some coffee, but we do not drink coffee anymore. And as I was thinking about coffee the other day, I thought to myself, you know, it's actually what you would call a neurotoxin. And that might be, everyone drinking coffee is like, oh, Jason, that's, it's not a neurotoxin. But when you look at the effects of coffee and what it does to the human mind, it is absolutely a neurotoxin. And for those still out there drinking coffee, if you ever want to see what kind of a fiend you are, stop drinking coffee for seven days. If you can make it seven days without drinking coffee, then you're not a fiend. Uh, if you got headaches and it takes you to, to school and it goes over, that is a problem. So anyway, um, how are you guys today? Today is a second, second day, day and we are getting ready to go fertilize some some of our corn. And what else you guys have? What, what's going on? How you guys doing? Good. 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 Um, we just dealt with some cows. We just sprayed them off and a couple other things like that. Yeah, Cable, I'm going to scoot your chair up here, son. There's no dogs around you. You can do this. Scoot right up. Get join in this table, and you will be totally good. All right, so thank you guys very much. We will get into this. One thing I want to go into is um, a message from the other day, from yesterday or the day before, and this is where I want to go right here. So this was from Sayo Erased, and this is a, a sister of ours, and we really appreciate the comments and things of this nature. And this is, I will read this to everybody, and let's go over this. Shalom, shalom brothers and sisters. I have a question. I do not eat any organs of cling animals. I thought there was a commandment about this. I have not found it, but it says, do not eat the blood. Most organs have blood in them. What say you about this? Much love. All right, gentlemen. All right, so the first thing that comes to mind is the priests. They always completely just burn it. They never ate it. They would burn it, and they would, not, they would eat the meat, but not the organs. Yeah, so, I mean, I, one thing I did pull up here that I would like to, to point out is, um, this is what, so the kidneys... Uh, the kidney's function is to filter blood and it removes waste products from urine. Um, and liver, I don't know where it says the liver. The liver is one of the most important organs of the metabolic system. Now, we know that the liver, um, when people drink a lot, their livers go bad because they're unable to um, process things of that nature. I know liver deals with alcohol. And it basically, the, the kidneys and the liver and things like that are um, clinging systems, right? And so... Jay, like you said, I don't think there's any commandment about not eating them. Um, however, there is, you know, the life is in the blood. Like if you would, you're going to eat a heart, um, you would have to cut that up and you'd have to fry that. You would have to fry that. You'd get the blood completely out of it because you would, you couldn't just eat a, a, a heart. There are, there is blood in there. Right. But like with everything with meat, you have to cook the blood out of it. So... Uh, again, go tell us a little bit about the priests again. What did they do? And this is they you know, they separated it. They would uh, take the entrails and all the organs, and they'd set it up and they'd burn it for Yahuwah. And they wouldn't eat it. They would see the uh, they would eat the meat of the animal, but not the organs. Yeah, and it's um, we I, ha we have experience cutting up animals, cutting up cows for sure, um, birds and things of that nature, and. Um, it's it's kind of nasty when you're you're up in there. I mean, you can definitely see uh, you know the the process of everything. Um, you know, as far as the organs go, you have the heart, you have the liver, you have the kidneys, you have the brain. Um, I don't think you'd want to eat the brain. That is not even meat. That is something else. Um, liver, like like I said, liver clings your system as well as your kidneys. So I'm not so. Sh I mean, I guess in a pinch. You could eat that. There is no commandment against that. But if you we do take the example of the Levites, um, you know, we, we would probably not eat that. And I mean, if you're if you have other meat, I would eat the real meat that is on the system. And, that, and that's what the organs are doing is they are keeping life to the actual meat of the, the system. Right. If, if your organs fail, you start getting into catastrophic decay and we've seen i think like some of our animals when they when they die i think their organs have failed and they, they the insides of them are are what kate yeah some of them are just like uh blood clotted some of them clotted up some of them have like 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 torn have an inside like tears on them and stuff right it's kind of sick and look at kind of maybe like a disease or something right eli wake up buddy come right. closer come closer to the table let's, let's participate in this people would love to hear from you my little uh 15 year old uh 
baby face Eli. He uh, is waking up with us. All right, so let's go into this today's study. And actually what I want to do, I didn't open up my docs, and so I don't have my commandments today. I will go over those tomorrow, but we ended up with 26 commands yesterday. And um, actually, let me just pause it, and I will go open this up. All right, so we were not prepped. But we are now. So Okay, so here it is. Um, don't eat the fat. Starting at 50. This is not new, but I'm going to start at 50 because we change things around and um, we're, we're um, not adding to and taking away. We're just adding stuff in and around sorting it. And um, the perfect job, I guess. Um, Nicole has been a, an IT gal all her life. And she's also, I met her as she was a receptionist at an ISP. And she's probably one of the very best receptionists I ever knew. She's extremely detail oriented. So there is no better person than this for going through this. And she sat down probably for an hour or two yesterday after we got done and started fleshing this stuff out. And as you guys see this and you see this getting dialed in, that is our sister Nicole that is doing this for us. And um, we will share this list here very, very soon. And so you guys can get this list and, and share it as well. It's still not completed though. It's still not completed. It's a work in progress. Okay, so 50 was don't eat the fat. 51 is return what is your neighbor's. Obey Yahoo's dietary laws. Obey Yahoo's hygiene laws, which those, is one she is those not. Those two I have to fix. Yep, those finish. two. Those two are hardcore. That we're we gotta basically sit down at the computer and make it happen. So fifty four is keep the day of atonement. No sacrifices to other gods. Fifty six do not uncover the nakedness of your family. That's another one I have to fix too. Okay, and she's fleshing that out as well. Um, do not take uncover. That says that doesn't sound right. Do not. Uncover, take your woman's sister for wife. Don't take your uh, white woman's sister. Yeah, don't take a woman's sister for a wife. 58, do not lie with a woman in her uncleanness. Uh, you shall not sacrifice your children to Moloch. Do not be gay. And my dogs are just being bad. Um, do not lie with any beast. Be holy. Because Yah is holy. Yes, yeah, so we need to be holy. 63, do not reap the corners of your field or you shall not glean your vineyard. And, um, you know, it, it is a command. It, it's something that we need to, to still keep today that I believe that if you are doing this and you are a producer of food, then we need to help those who are in need. Um, 64, do not deal falsely or defraud. Um, what is that? Defraud what? Uh, your neighbor. Yeah, your neighbor. Or your, no, your neighbor for... His wages either. Yeah, so do That's not. So we need to add, fix that defraud right there. Do not, yeah, or defraud your neighbor. 65, do not lie. Um, that should be obvious, but it's a, a straight command there. Pay your workers for the day's wage. They are due. 67, do not harm uh, with the disabled. Uh, that sounds jacked up too. Uh, it sounds like she's speaking Spanish in an English version here, but yeah. Um, do not harm, uh, the blinder or, um, the deaf. deaf. Yeah. Don't yeah. curse him. Don't put a stomach block before the blind. I mean, sort of monster mentality that is. Yeah. And do it says, don't be a liar. And I think don't be a liar says do not lie. So wouldn't 68. That's what I asked you and you told me no. No. They were two different ones. All right, let's look at that real quick. You shall not steal, uh, neither deal falsely, neither lie one to another. Do not lie right there, okay? And then um, 68, you shall not go down as a tell bearer among your people. Yeah, okay. Um, we'll probably still keep fleshing this stuff out as we see this stuff and go through it. Um, do not endanger your neighbor. All right, don't knock the tree down on your brother. Do not hate your brother. Rebuke your neighbor for his sin before it gets out of control so you do not share upon that sin. Love your neighbor as yourself. Do not diverse your cattle. Um, do not is do not, uh, do not let them allow mingle. them to breed yeah. with other cattle. Um, do not mingle your seed. And I, again, I don't know about the cattle thing. I don't know why that would be important. But I, I don't. I think down here they just let anything go. I mean, it's anything. You have Brahmas and half Holsteins and half everything. So I, I think that command is completely shot down here but doesn't mean it's now not a command and we should obviously Yah has his ways do not mingle your seed do not mingle linen and wool unless you want a vibration of doom uh do not lie with a taken woman yeah do not yeah don't commit adultery if you and it's, it's not even a, it could be an adultery thing if you're married but yeah don't it, this is talking about the slave or somebody your hired man don't take his his woman and i don't know if that one should be under do not break wedlock 
him and who's sort of like currently with a woman. Now, I think this is a little different. Okay. I mean, because this it may not be wedlock. They're not married yet. Um, and this guy, the slave owner, may not be married either. So he might not be committing adultery, but he is family wrecking things. Okay. Okay, commandment 77, do not eat the fruit of the trees for three years. Um, it's on a new tree. Uh, commandment 78, do not practice sorcery. It says, so not practice sorcery. One, one way or another. Uh, yeah, she's doing this on a little tiny phone. So, um, do not round your beard or the corners of your head. Um, Eli, you have no beard. I haven't uh, rounded it. <laughs> you haven't it's rounded natural. it. It is natural. Naturally smooth. Okay. Do not cut yourself for the dead. Do not get tattoos. Do not prostitute your daughter. Do not defile your temple. And uh, do not consult the medium. Yeah. Respect your elders. Have correct weights and measures. All right. So we made it to 86 commands. And so we are on Leviticus 20 today. And we will do our handy dandy split screen. Take us right here as we again thank you guys for spending time with us. And thank you guys for, um, you know, just uh, hanging out. So, um, actually, here, here's one thing. Actually, before I do, I got to take the handy dandy split screen off. All right, so something I want to talk about real quick, and let's go right here. And I want to read this first this first thing real quick, and we'll discuss, and then I have something real quick I want to go over. Leviticus 20. And Yahuwah has spoken to Moshe, saying, Again, you shall say to the children of Yashrael, Whoever he be of the children of Yashrael, or of the strangers that sojourns in Yashrael, that gives any of his seed unto Moloch, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. And I will set my face against that man and will cut him off from among his people because he has given his seed unto Moloch to defile my sanctuary and to profane my holy name. And if the people of the land do any ways hide their eyes from the man when he gives of his seed unto Moloch and kill him not, then I will set my face against that man and against his family and will cut him off and all that go whoring after him to commit whoredom with Moloch from among the people. Now, Let's talk about this real quick. What are some ways you could offer your child to Moloch? I mean, back in the days, you would just simply walk up to this, the, the little Moloch statue. Yeah, and they, they actually had it to where they, they put the baby in its hands, and then they dropped it into the fire, right? It had like a, a release thing. So they literally were offering that. How in today's society are people offering their children to Moloch? Uh, the abortion table. The abortion table. And... It's it's interesting because this channel has so many subscribers that come from music that everybody sits there and goes, oh, may God bless Israel. May God have peace on Israel. May God bless this. And that, that I I see one or two or three every single day. And I just stopped re responding to all of this because people do not realize that they are Israel. Now, people will say, well, those are God's chosen people. They're in the Holy Land and they are... Um, they are doing the will of God. And if you simply want to see this, I did a little little search here. And if you want to see what how this land is absolutely not holy, what we're looking at right here is we are looking at abortion clinics inside of Israel. And so if you look at all these things, and this one has a big old star of David on it. And if you go into this and take a look, right? Um, there's abortion clinics all over Israel. There's three in Jerusalem. They're all over the West Bank here. Um, and what I found was really disturbing was this one was open till 11.30 p.m. And so it is open now. But imagine an abortion clinic that you're getting an abortion at 11 o'clock at night. So if you want to look and see how vile and how evil the people of Israel are today... And this, this, this without a shadow of a doubt, you don't have to go any further. You don't have to talk about any of the crazy stuff that these guys from over there do. You don't have to say anything because you get banned off YouTube, right? You become an anti-Semite. Well, you don't need to be an anti-Semite to understand that. Look, look at this list right here, right? This is all abortion clinics in Israel. And this is like two pages. I'm on three pages. This is Tel Aviv, Yashra, Israel. There's, there we go. Finally get out of Israel. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 abortion clinics, right? And it's, what's sick 
is these guys are all, look at this. These guys have four stars, right? Four stars. Oh, they, they killed the kid really good. Oh, I didn't feel a thing, right? Um, that one's got five. Yeah, this one almost has a five five star abortion clinic. Uh, 18 right? abortion clinics in Israel. Israel's not that big of a country. It's, it's a very small country, but they're all over the place, right? This is a commercialized setup that they offer their children to Moloch. And so if you, if you had any doubt that the people of Yisrael of today are, they are absolutely not God's people. They're absolutely out of the, the Satan's hands and they do very evil stuff. This one has a five star, full, five full stars, Jerusalem, Israel, right? And they close at three. And, but again, this one closes the one to 53 reviews that has like four stars, 4.1, closes at 11.30 p.m. Why are you getting midnight abortions? It's, it's there's some sort of evil, there's, there's, some sort of very, very evil stuff that is going on over there. And so our, our creator, you know, he just gave us some commands right here. And I'm doing the handy-dandy split screen. Um, and so we have this. Eli, go ahead. Let's get on this right here. So we the very first four commands, and it's not only that you would not offer your kids to Moloch, but if we were a holy land, you saw somebody offering your kids to Moloch, you go kill them. Yeah, you take, you take them before the council and you stone them. Yeah, you kill them all. Yeah, you'd absolutely go kill them all. And that may sound like a harsh thing to do, but why in the world would you, if you're, if our commandments are to be fruitful and multiply, how is that multiplying? It's the opposite. And, it, it, and when you see someone dividing. doing, when you see someone doing that, more people might actually do it. So it's got to get rid of that person so he doesn't pollute other people. Yeah, and that's not, that is the beginning of the great evil because all of the big pharma cut stuff that is out there they have made all of their um shots and stuff based upon the abortive fetal cells so they don't just go these guys with five star ratings and 53 reviews and the ones that's open to 11 30 they're harvesting babies right this is a big business the beginning of the business is to get the woman on the altar of moloch they get the woman on the altar of moloch and I don't want to be too graphic, but they reach in there with forceps and they crush the leg and they rip it off and they grip, they'll go in there and they will grab the head and they'll crush it and they'll pull it out. So this baby is screaming inside of it. The very first thing they do is they, they, they take the, the, um, the fluid that is around the baby and they drain it. And then they go in and the baby's screaming inside. They, they've heard their silent screams all over. And so when we are offering our children to Moloch in this fashion, in fact, it would probably have been better to die. I don't know if it'd be better to die in a fire of Moloch or to be ripped to shreds with how these people are doing it. But this is the holy land of our creator. This is where our creator says, never, ever do this. And they bleed these babies out day after day, right? All day long. They're all open, right? If you look at those abortion clinics, it says they're all open now. So they're all open for business, ready to go in. And it's like a it's like a McDonald's for death is what it is. All right. So let's continue on. Yeah, we shouldn't be eating McDonald's. You shouldn't be eating McDonald's either. Yeah, absolutely don't eat any of that stuff. It's all, they have human, human stuff inside of these things they found. All right. Where are we at? Five? Six. six. Five. <clears throat> no, six. Six. All right. So here we go. And this, okay, is there, do we have commandments there? I would put that under don't uh, offer your children a lock. I'd definitely put that as yeah. one of the, under there. So we already added that one in? Yep. Or you will? Okay, so Nicole's already on this. She fired the computer a little earlier today trying to get this in thing. So I told you she's a really good receptionist. Except for all the mistakes I had. Except for all the mistakes. But that's, <laughs> we're fleshing this stuff out. It'll look really, it'll look really good when we're done. All right, hopefully. All right, so six. And the soul that turns after such as a familiar spirits... And after wizards to go a whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul and will cut him off from among his people. Okay, what are we dealing with? It's familiar spirits. Mine says mediums and spiritists. Okay, so, mediums and spiritists. So, uh, somebody who casts spells and probably talks to the dead, um, plays Ouija board, stuff like that. Yeah, all, all that kind of stuff. You know, cards, tarot cards, all those things. They've had tarot cards since the beginning of time. And, and, um, they, I mean, there's something to it. There's absolutely something to it enough that, yeah, I mean, if this was like some sort of like sideshow that really wasn't real, then Yah would never like, he, you, you shouldn't go talk to them. Right. And so how is it these people are empowered? How, how is a, a fortune teller able to do this? The, the same demons, way they, people from demons. the same way for the people of Egypt were able to cast their spells against Moses. The yeah. same way they did the thing where they threw the rods down and became snakes as well. They had the power of Satan and they can do it as well. Yeah. The power of Satan and that there is power with Satan as well. 
Okay. It's not a good power, and it's no. not going to end you up anywhere good. It'll probably end you up with demons and all ruin yeah. life forever. A whole bunch of friends that you can't shake. Okay. I added that one to the medium. Don't consult the medium. All right. <clears throat> all right. Thank you. So that's a, that's we added that one in as well. Don't consult the medium. Okay. Sanctify yourselves, therefore, and be holy, for I am Yahuwah Elohim. So okay. be holy. Yeah. So under the be holy, I would add that as well. I did. Okay. Good. And ye shall guard my statutes and do them. I am Yahuwah Mekodishikim. And I don't know if I said that right. Let's see if that comes up. I am Yahuwah who kadosh you. Okay. Who will kadosh you? Who kadosh you? Just who kadosh you? Who makes you holy. Okay. And, uh, yeah. yeah. And it doesn't come up, so I have no tally for that. Okay. For everyone that curses his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. This is the put to death chapter. He has cursed his father or his mother. His blood shall be upon him. Now, why is... why? I mean, we've gone over this before. I mean, what kind of cursing is this? Like, uh, cursing him to death? What kind of... Like, um, I don't know. Whatever it is, is probably beyond normal teenage belligerence. Um, it's probably something far worse. And, I mean, if you're sitting there... I mean... Th- here, here's the thing. This is why I've told my teens and for, for since they were little kids. I said, look, I don't know what it is about the world of teenagers, but at some point, you guys are going to want to come against your parents. For whatever reason, in your, um, tr- your journey for freedom, it always ends up where it's kids versus parents. And sometimes, if you are unable to get to the bottom of that, you can you can end up hating each other. The parents can hate the kids, and the kids can hate the parents, and you know the the kids leave, and you know they, you you have a very very bad relationship. So I don't know if we've ever gotten through that. I, I don't know so much as this is a problem in our house, but we've definitely addressed the um, the freedom seeking teenagers that um, sometimes believe that they have far more answers than their parents have. And at the end of the day, uh, old mom and old pops, you usually have the very best answers for the very best time. And that's why you want to stick with them, right? Stick with those who are old. If you have gray hair and you've made it to that, you know, that state, you've obviously um, survived. And so if you are unwise and you don't want to take advice from those who've been there, done that, then you're only having to recreate the wheel and you're only going to have to learn your own mistakes versus having, you know, somebody with gray hair tell you exactly how it is. All right. So did that get added to a... a Honor your mother. Honor your mother. Okay, thank you. And the man that breaks wedlock with another man's wife, even he that breaks wedlock with his neighbor's woman, the adulterer and the adulteress shall be put to death. Kill them all. I mean, drag out. I mean, people people look at me when I say that. I'm like, you know, I see these politicians and I see all these evil people and I, I see the, the medical industry, you know, and that they've done some great evil to this world. And I keep saying it and people look at me shocked. I'm like, we just need to drag them outside the city gates and kill them. I mean, that's the bottom line. And I don't, you know, it, it's, it's hard in this, in this world where we are at, we are very unholy. And I mean, you can do a murder in the United States of America and you can be out in five years. Um, I mean, one, one guy, the, the speaker guy from Jim Staley murdered a, it, it was a, a uh, he was drunk driving and he killed the woman in the car. He got out in five years and they're out teaching tongues now with Jim Staley. But, you know, that's a life. You have now taken a life. And um, I have to break this real quick, guys, because the tree out there, it just dropped a uh, papaya to the ground. As I'm sitting here talking to you guys, a papaya just fell to the ground. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sorry, I, I can't really put that to video, but I'm sitting here talking to you guys and out, out of my eyes, I see a papaya hit the ground. Okay. Um, yeah, so anyway, this is this needs to be it should be dealt with, right? You're wrecking. This is a, this is a very interesting thing. This is, this is simple adultery. And I'm, I guess that's a bad word. Simple adultery. There's no such thing as simple adultery. Adultery is adultery. No matter yeah. What. yeah it, adultery is, is adultery. And it's, it, you're, you're not just breaking trust and loyalty and breaking Yaw's laws, but your, 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 your wife or your husband, if, if you do that act, you will never, ever be in bond with them again, ever. You can hide it, and you can think you have it hidden, but it's 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 going to dwell with you forever, and it's, it's wrong. And if you are um, an adulterer and you take your wife back, you have now made her an adulterer. It's, it's, it's a bad deal. Okay. Um, 11. So we got that 10 into a command? Yep. Okay. And the man that lies with his father's woman has uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. 
Okay, so if you, if your dad, if you ended up with another mother who wasn't your mother mother and your dad had it and you went and lagged with her, um, you're going to get some rocks to your skull and probably rightfully so. Both of you. In fact, the, wife, the woman and the man. Both of them shall surely be put to death. So Yah's not messing around with this stuff. And if a man lie with his daughter-in-law, both of them have sure, shall surely be put to death. They have wrought confusion. Their blood shall be upon them. Yeah, kill the dad and the daughter, right? And that's the way it is. Did you add that somewhere? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Nicole is all over this one today. All right, if a man also lie with mankind, as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Now, we live in a strange, strange world where you can dance down the road with no clothes on in North America. And again, I don't know if this is worldwide, but North America has become a haunt for every filthy, nasty, a kind of abominable thing ever. So basically, we should have had an entire road lined with bodies is what that should have been if we were in a holy kind of land. And I know there's a lot of homosexuals and gays and whatever you call them these days, but they're sodomites. They're, they're, it's an it's abomination to our creator. Besides it being filthy and weird, why is it, why does Yah say not to lie with a man and one with a woman? There's no offspring that happens. Yes. There's no Got it. multiplying. Yeah, there's no multiplying. It literally stops the generation yeah. from happening. Adam That's... and Eve, okay. Adam and Steve, not so much. Adam and Steve aren't going to have kids. They got to adopt a kid, and then the kids are going to be flaky and wacky as well. So I know this is going to fall on some ears. I don't know if anybody who uh, is wacky will hear this, but if you are wacky, you need to stop being wacky. It's not good. It's an abomination. Okay, and if a man take a woman and her mother... It is wickedness. They shall be burnt with fire. Yes, both he and they, <laughs> that there be no wickedness among you. So, so this one's different. This yeah, one's like burn them instead of stoning them. It's like burn them alive. That, yeah, burn them alive. Which is which is I would rather be stoned to death than burned alive. Yeah. So this is so this is a big deal. So if you, uh, yeah, you, this don't be don't be weird. Don't be wicked. Don't be unholy. I put that one. <clears throat> sorry, I put that one under. Don't uncover the nakedness of your family. I don't know if that one needs to go under something else. Um, yeah, don't uncover the naked. And if, if you do, you should be burned with fire. Okay, and if a man lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death, and ye shall slay the beast. Yeah, absolutely. Kill, kill the man and beast. Kill, kill both those beasts. Okay, and if a woman approach unto any beast, did you add that one, Nicole? Yes. Okay, and if a woman approach unto any beast and lie down there too, you shall kill the woman and the beast, they shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be up on them. So were they burned or were they stoned in this one? Uh, How is this I don't know. Up? There's a lot of ways to be put to death. I mean, you, just, you could name the names. There's ways. There's a mm -hmm. lot. Um, but definitely when there's burned with fire, that's a whole that's a whole other situation, right? That's like you're going to – it takes a little work to burn somebody with fire. Like it's going to be a brutal death. Okay. And if a man shall take his sister, his father's daughter – or his mother's daughter, and see her nakedness, and she sees his nakedness, it is a wicked thing, and they shall be cut off in the sight of their people. He has uncovered his sister's nakedness. He shall bear his iniquity. So he doesn't get killed for this. He doesn't get, un doesn't get killed, but all they did is that they, if a man shall take his sister, his father's daughter, and see her. So it's only about them seeing each other naked. This is not the actual act. Of sex is what I believe. Uh, in the NIV, I think it is. Is it? Okay, so, and they have sexual relations. It is a disgrace. Yeah, okay, so yeah, they do. Um, yeah, I don't know. You don't die with this. This is really, this is really weird. I feel like they should both be stoned as well. Yeah, ab absolutely, yeah. Well, I, what about the daughter? The daughter, I mean, uh, it, you know, this is, this doesn't say, this is a father's daughter, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter. Um... Yeah, it does. It, the thing is, the daughter could be very young. I mean, that's the problem is these, these bad dudes are always, it's, it's not going to be like an in aged woman. It's going to be, this guy's going to be cr doing like pedophilia or something of the sort. Stone um, him. Yeah, stone the guy, kill him. Um, but yeah, he do, this is not, you don't kill this guy, right? So I don't know. This is Yah's ways. So here we go. And if a man shall lie with a woman having her sickness, and shall uncover her nakedness. He has discovered her fountain, and she has uncovered the fountain of her blood. And both of them shall be cut off from among their people. 
So again, more wickedness, more wrongdoing. If a woman is in a cycle, you stay away from her. Let her rest. Stay away. Just don't, don't be weird. Don't be wicked. Okay. And you shall not uncover the nakedness. Did you put, add that in, Nicole? Yep. Okay. So she's all over it. And you shall not uncover the nakedness of your mother's sister, nor of your father's sister, for he uncovers his near kin. They shall bear the iniquity. That's that's even more weirder. That's like your that's an aunt or uncle or something. That's that's not good. None of this. So, um, but they shall bear the iniquity. So whether Yah kills them or something, that they gotta they gotta deal with this. And if a man shall lie with his uncle's woman, he has uncovered his uncle's nakedness. They shall bear their sin. They shall die childless. Isn't that the same as the aunt of the woman? Before? No, I guess it's because it's not the brother, father, sister, man. Yeah, this is, he's just going over basically all, all the different anything kinds. Anything in the family, certainly. Anything you can call family is uh, Yeah, it's no. off limits. Okay, and if a man shall take his brother's woman, it is an unclean thing. He has uncovered his brother's nakedness. They shall be childless. Where does this change? This change that if the brother dies without a child, then the brother must take this the wife of the brother that died. Yep. No, I don't. If they die childless, if but if they have a kid, then she has she loses the widow. Good. Yep. All right. So did you have that anywhere? Okay. Yep. Okay. Twenty two. Ye shall therefore guard all my statutes and all my judgments and do them that the land whither I bring you to dwell therein spew you not out. Message does not vomit you out. Did you add that one? Yes. Okay. She's so good. All right. And ye shall not walk in the manners of the nation which I cast out before you, for they committed all these things, and therefore I abhorred them. Okay? I did not add that one because I don't know where it goes. Um, you shall not walk in the manners of the nation, which I cast out before you. They committed all these horns. Um, um, apparently it's all laws here. That's what the nations did with these things. Yeah, I mean, uh, where would this go, boys? Um, maybe a new command. It says, do not do as the nations do. Do not walk or in the manners the of the don't, nations. Don't do, as do not do as they do in Rome. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't do as the Gentiles do. Don't do as the pagans do. All right, yeah, so that's probably a new command. Okay, that's what I was wondering. That's why I didn't add it. All right, 24. But I have said unto you, ye shall inherit their land, and I will give it unto you to possess it, a land that flows with milk and honey. I am Yahuwah Elohim, which have separated you from other people. Ye shall therefore put difference between clean beasts and unclean, and between unclean fowls and clean. And ye shall not make your souls abominable by beast or by fowl or by any manner of living thing that creeps on the ground, which I have separated from you as unclean. What do you guys make of this right there? Well, he, he breaks off from all these uh, do not uncover the nakedness of your family into don't don't uh, defile yourself with the animals by making by eating them by because the pagans will eat the uh, unclean animals. They eat anything, right? They eat pig, they eat possibly vultures, they eat everything. And that was what it was. He's like, no, this is the food you're going to eat. You're going to make extinction. you got to figure this out. What is clean and what is not clean. Yeah, I agree. Anyone else have anything? Uh, I think that should maybe go under um, eat the dietary laws. You shall therefore put difference between clean beasts. Yeah, so dietary laws, I That's would put that. That's where I already put it. Okay. I told you. She's good. Okay. And ye shall be holy unto me. For I, Yahuwah, am holy and have severed you from other people, that ye should be mine. Now, what does that mean, guys? He severed us from other people. Are we severed? Have we been severed? I yeah. feel like we have. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen another human being other than you guys for a very long time. I feel like I am completely cut off, and I'm actually very happy about not seeing anybody else. I mean, I, I probably shouldn't be like that, but um, it is a, it's a lonely life being a Torah keeper because you lose your friends, you lose the people that you should not be hanging around, and um, you make a life with Yah, and that is who our life should be with. Okay, 27. Uh, did we get that? Uh, you for... shall be holy. Okay, awesome. And 27. A man also or a woman that has a familiar spirit, or that is a wizard, shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones. Their blood shall be upon them. Okay, um, you have that added as well? I don't know where I put that one. Right. That so that goes on our new one, Kill the Wizards and the Warlocks. <laughs> that would be half the Freemason Lodges in all the world. Well, I mean, that's it. They're all wizards. and I mean, it's it here in today's society, people are excited about being wizards, right? You'll, you'll Witches. Um, I think Hillary Clinton was a witch, like literally like a certified witch. And there's people. Um, Do you have a license for it? Uh, she probably got a license for it, as bad as she is. You have your flying broom license? She got multiple closets full of brooms. Um, yeah, so um, that, I guess that I guess that is it. So we need to, yeah, definitely kill the uh, wizard. We should, you know, if 
if we're in the, go ahead. Is that a new commandment? To or kill the wizards? Go under, <laughs> or is that, uh, go under, do not consult a medium? A woman that has a familiar spirit or is a wizard shall surely put, put to death. Um, well, it's, if you don't, if you, uh, I think it's a new command. Right? Yeah, put to death. I, yeah, I mean, because this, this gives us um, how to deal with, you know, somebody reading tea leaves. And it ain't the tea leaves like we're drinking here. It's like some other kind of tea leaves. They throw bones and stuff in there and it's all creepy. I'm also thinking like... Uh, the the weird way people talk in tongues, right? They don't know what they're saying. They can they're trying to decipher Dude, things. Could that be could be demons. they could be bringing demons. They could be sitting oh, yeah. there conjuring well, and, and spirits. It could be mediums. That's the thing. That is the thing. And Jim Staley is now on to this uh, the quest of teaching everybody how to speak in tongues. And the guy that went to prison for him, they're out there. And it's like, oh yeah, use your breathing and just bring this. I mean, there's videos on Jim's stuff. I mean, he he's gone to the, this way. I mean, and. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know if it's the dark side or if, if uh, I, I just don't know. But, um, yeah, so anyone have anything else? Um, no. Um, if you do anything here, you're probably, Yahoo probably sees you as an abomination. Yeah, and if you consult a witch, or was it, remember what happened to King Saul? Um, he, di- he died and he got his son killed because he went and consulted a uh, spellcaster. All right, so here we are today, right? A lot of people are not in Torah. And I know a lot of people have played around by calling the psychic hotlines, calling Sister Clara or whatever, the psychic hotline lady. A lot of people have done this. What do we, how do we deal with this right now? How do we deal when we have uh, done evil and we just come into the understanding that we have done evil? You repent, you use the blood of Yahushua and you repent for the sins you have committed for that. I mean, those are serious things to sit there and talk to the spiritists, whether they're fake or not. Yeah, absolutely, and you can you can definitely take on unclean spirits. I mean, you I would be very concerned that these people would transfer their unclean spirits to you somehow or something of the of that that effect. All right, yeah, the blood of Yahushua is 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 what it, it's all about. Eli, come back up over here. Tell me about this. Take take us home on this. Um, salvation begins where at the cross <clears throat> or at the stake. If you believe in Yahushua Mashiach. Yeah, and, be and who is Yahushua Hamashiach? He is the son of Yahuwah, or God, and Yahushua Hamashiach, you may know him as Jesus, Jesus Christ. Yeah, a lot of people know him as Jesus Christ. There's no J's till the year 1529, <coughs> so we're talking, you know, 2,000 years after our Messiah walked the, the earth. Uh, is when the letter J was invented, so it, it did not, and then there's no J's in Hebrew, so we got to get the names right. Um, is this, uh, is the blood of Messiah, the, the, is it to, so that we can um, party on the weekends and make it back home and, and repent? No, it, the blood was a repentance for us. It was a our sacrifice. So when we need to repent, we had full repentance with it, using his blood from our sins of our breaking the Torah. And what does the Torah tell us? Why should we be writing this on our hearts, minds, and souls? Uh, so, so we know it's wrong and right. So we know that consulting the spiritus is going to get us murdered. Yeah, going to get you killed. You're going to be cut off. That you should never, ever take all the clothes of anyone in your family. That it's got to be a holy convocation. Our, our creator um, has, has given us... Um, a body that we need to keep um, hidden. I'm not hidden. I, I guess hidden is the right word. Yeah, we need to keep it hidden. Hidden, right? Um, we shouldn't act and dance like the pagans. And and you know, if you look at the clothes of the of the women today, there's like nothing on them, right? There's like a couple of straps, and then they walk around, and there's no mystery, right? There's no mystery of it. You know, back in the 40s and 50s and things like that, the women had dresses down to their 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 ankles and they were, um, you know, it, it wasn't like today. Now they have like spandex and things called spanks and it's just like skin tight. Um, it's like pantyhose or something of the sort for, it's just, they wear them outside and it's just, it's an abomination. Our creator wants us to be humble and I don't have the word for it. What is the word? He wants us to be, um, modest, modest. That's it. Thank you guys. That's exactly right. Yeah. We want, he wants to be us to be modest and um, we shouldn't be flaunting this stuff, right? And uh, I, I think men and women will flaunt that as they attempt to get other men and women, things of that nature. And, you know, if Yah, Yah will send his, his woman or your man, he will send it your way. When, you, when it's the right one for you, you don't have to go looking because it will come to your door and you will find it. Yah will provide. He's in full control of everything. He's, he's, he's wonderful. He's great. And the Torah is great. All right, guys, that's it. Um, anyone have anything else? Um, read your Bibles. We'll see you tomorrow. Um, we're going to be doing the Spanish version of Youth for Oh, all, so. yes, yes. And that's tonight? Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Yeah, so tomorrow night the boys are going to be doing, uh, it's probably not for you guys. And uh, If you guys do speak Spanish, you can join in. Yeah, if you speak Spanish, you can join in. Cade, tell them a little bit in Spanish what it's going to be about. 
Um, este, este mañana vamos a hacer una, una, una enseñada donde vamos a hablar sobre proverbios y et, et, esperemos que tú puedas estar ahí. All right, that's it. Wrap it up. Much love right. to everybody out there. All right, shalom. shalom. shalom.